Hi all, today we'll explain capacitors, inductors, and resistors. A capacitor has two parallel conductors. In between is an insulator, which can also be air. In circuits, capacitors are ubiquitous. Parallel conductors have capacitance. An inductor is a coil of conductor, which can be air core or magnetic core. Inductance refers to electromagnetic induction. In circuits, inductance is ubiquitous. Wherever there is current flowing through a conductor, a magnetic field is generated, resulting in inductance. When inductance is very small, it can be neglected. A resistor impedes current flow in a conductor. Greater resistance means higher resistance value. Conductor resistance is small and negligible. Resistance value is relatively high at the resistor. Most resistors convert electrical energy to heat. Circuit powered by transformer. Converting electrical energy to magnetic energy and back. Positive charge represents current direction. In an inductive electromotive force, electrons flow from upper to lower metal plate on capacitor, when positive charge is on upper side, and negative charge is on lower side. Charging upper part of capacitor positively and lower part negatively, capacitor plates have many free electrons. Larger plates contain more electrons. With same current conditions, Larger plates result in longer charging time. When upper part of inductive electromotive force is positive, and lower part is negative, electrons flow from lower end of resistor to upper end, forming a circuit loop. Circuit loop is path for electrons in circuit, returning to starting point. Inductors modify current magnitude using magnetic energy. Coil conductivity in an inductor stays. In a capacitor, Conductors at both ends, changing current magnitude are unchanged due to the electric field effect. When a resistor hampers electron flow, energy is consumed. Discuss electron flow in circuit. When induction electromotive force is positive at top and negative at bottom, magnetic energy in transformer causes electrons in coil to flow from one end of capacitor to other. Electrons do not return to starting point. Energy is not consumed. Electrons flow through resistor, return after passing. Energy consumed. If induced electromotive force is negative at top and positive at bottom, diode does not conduct. Electrons in inductor cannot form complete circuit. When many electrons at the bottom of the capacitor flow back to the top through the resistor, electrons in the capacitor return to their starting point, and energy stored in the capacitor is released, which also happens through the resistor. An inductor converts energy, a capacitor stores energy, and a resistor dissipates energy. These are the three major components of a circuit. Thank you for watching this video by Australian Control Engineering, ACE. If you found our project insightful and want to see more innovative solutions in SCADA and control systems, don't forget to like, subscribe, so you never miss an update from us. Share this video to help spread the word about sustainable engineering solutions. For more information, visit our website. Join us at ACE, where technology meets sustainability.